Las Vegas Filipino Community News Online, by Sol Felipe Liasos. An online news and information, so the Las Vegas Filipino Community and the Filipinos worldwide will know. Presents, Bayanihan Project, Stop COVID-19, Humanitarian Project of Filipino American Leaders. Designated Official Coordinator, Nava Nevada. This online news production is made possible through the help and support of Cynthia Dariquito and Resty Lopez. All the way from Las Vegas, Nevada. Bayanihan Project Stop COVID-19 distributed more than 500 food bags to Filipino Americans in Las Vegas. In the news. More than 500 bags of food support were distributed to Filipino American residents here in Southern Nevada, as COVID-19 pandemic continued to affect the lives of residents in the city, the entertainment capital city of the world. With establishments, schools, entertainment hubs, sports centers, churches, amusement parks, hotels, and casinos, closed for a month now, many Filipinos are among those affected by this crisis, where most families' bread and butter depends from these establishments and institutions that provide them wages for the various jobs they are in. The stay-at-home order from government leaders, scarcity of food supply and vital needs due to panic buying, especially on the early part of the pandemic weeks, the long lines in supermarkets, social distancing and fear of contaminations, our Filipino community, the largest minority group in Las Vegas are also one of those that need much help and support like any other ethnic communities in the region and in the world. Because of this situation, the Filipino leaders, representing almost 50 local Filipino American organizations, bonded together for one purpose, to help fellow Kababayans in crises like this. Committees were organized, and one of these is the Food Distribution Committee, chaired by Jacques de Hoya president of Filipiniana Dance Company and one of NAFA's member of the board. This committee worked hand in hand with the storage, warehousing, and the purchasing group. In an interview by the Las Vegas Filipino Community News Online, De Hoya has this to say. Our mission is to help the needy here in our local area in Las Vegas. We have come together and put together care packages consisting of canned goods, noodles, and rice, and we have just been distributing door to door in our local community to the people in need, at, such as the unemployed, our seniors, and our disabled that are homebound. And we, are been, we have been greeted with smiling faces, and people have been very, uh, happy to receive us and showing much gratitude to our community. In her written statement submitted, De Hoya wrote, No matter where we are in the world, Filipinos are staying together and are helping one another during these dire times. The Bayanihan Project was established to provide aid to our Filipino-American community during the COVID-19 pandemic. We wanted to show support to the needy such as the unemployed, the seniors and disabled that are homebound. With local businesses shutting down, families are facing challenges with their daily food necessities. The entire Philam community in Las Vegas has come together to help those in need. Donations have been overwhelming from different organizations, businesses, and individuals. The Bayanihan Project has been distributing food care packages, with the hopes to assist those in dire need during these difficult times. Our pickup and delivery committee members, while practicing social distancing, have coordinated and are delivering food packages curbside and door-to-door -to, -door to those that are unemployed, seniors and disabled. They are met each day with smiling faces and with much gratitude from the recipients. To ensure everyone's safety, CDC health guidelines are always enforced and observed. The Bayanihan Project is headed by Chairman Jing Espirit II, and is in partnership with NAFA Nevada, with Cynthia Dariquito, as State Chair. 
The purchasing team consists of Dot Giovanni Carrillo, Asila Engel, Resti Lopez, and Ruel Rodriguez. While the warehouse and packaging committee are headed by Aldi and Rosa Belcolobai, our devoted drivers are Alex and Sol Pino, Christopher and Katrina Hernandez, Saturnino and Carmen Irulan, Leo Fortuno, Angel Duran, Frank and Minda Benaria, Cynthia Dariquito, Resti Lopez, Sally and Ed Balicha, Ronnie and Lala de los Santos, Jacques and Art de Hoya, Amy and Leo Belmonte, and Sol Felipe Lazos. We may be homebound, but we are not powerless. We remain united, vigilant, and community of one. We thank the great effort of the pickup and delivery group and so many others who have helped in all the food packs to the community in Las Vegas. And we thank also our media people, Sol Lasos. Johan and uh, Dr. Mike Santa Juan. On behalf of the Filipino community in Las Vegas, we really do appreciate what the Bayanihan Group is doing. Thank you and uh, keep on being generous to the people. Ako po si Jalen Miller. Hi, Miller. Uh, kami po ay nagpapasalamat para po sa Bayanihan community leaders dito po sa Las so thank you very much to all Filipino-American leaders here in Southern Nevada and in partnership with NAFA, we are grateful, we are, we are so uh, blessed to have all of you in collaborating in this project. Mabuhay ang mga Filipino! Being part of this Bayanihan project, I feel honored and privileged to be the chairman of the Warehousing and Packaging Committee. I just want to tell everybody that this too shall pass and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, everyone. Thank you. We are all in this together. Thank you.